Hello. I am Mase. I had a fantasy. The fantasy was to learn and appreciate super, super collider programming. I'm not sure if you know about this, uh, but super collider is an uh, audio or sound programming language. Here it is, it kind of looks like this, so kind of, yeah. I wanted to do this and I wanted to be good at it and I wanted to enjoy it. Uh, I will speak a little bit about all the things other people do, not what I do. And this is uh, somehow a story about poetics, community, community and computers, all of which I really love. I might also love a little bit of... Reverb. Okay, so the story was that uh, this is where I wanted to get to, and then I learned about this uh, device by an, a company called company is called Monome, and this device is called Norns. Uh, it's a very nice uh, aluminium, fancy kind of uh, boutique synthesizer sound computer thing, but they also have made. Uh, an open hardware an uh, open hardware version called Norns Shield and this is what I have it's here I don't always bring it with me but I often do it fits in this bag very nicely and I have a little battery to go with it um, it's close to my heart <laughs> wrong side though Okay, so regardless, what is what the hell is Norns? Norns is basically a little shield that sits on top of Raspberry Pi 3B+. Plus. Uh, what the shield has, uh, and you can kind of build it yourself. A friend helped me with all the soldering shit. That is really like uh, giving me a headache, but he helped me. And what this shield is, it is that it has a nice um, audio chip. Uh, it has three buttons, uh, three uh, knobs, and a little screen. So that's the, the kind of what the hardware does. Uh, everything else is running on top of uh, uh, normal, relatively normal GNU Linux system. And I'm kind of fam more familiar with this like GNU computer things than the synth thing, so this kind of speaks to me. And what it does is the whole thing is built on Super Collider. And here's my problem. So I wanted, I thought, mm, I'll buy this thing or I'll get this thing. And by using it, I will get to pick up this skill and practice of right, doing this. But I got sidetracked. <laughs> I'm still here after three years of having this thing. I haven't gotten here very much, a little bit. But uh, so what is uh, I think nice about um, uh, Norns is that I'll just have a little camera here so that you can see. Is that well we heard uh, heard and saw earlier today uh, different uh, kind of. Uh, 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 synthesizers and and audio uh, devices that are sample players, synthesizers, and so on, and that's all really great, and I love that, of course. But what Norns, I think, makes a very good design proposition that of the kind of how limited the user interface is. Of course, you can plug in your uh, like uh, four, you have like four USB MIDI things, and I often have something connected here, like a little pocket synth controllers and some, something like this. But here, what we have is a script called Fall, 
And I guess it's built on some music theory and all these kind of synthesizer nice things that you, we kind of learned about. But I don't understand any of that stuff. All my music theory uh, understanding is based that I heard Frugian sounds really evil, so I always choose that Frugian scale. Uh, so that's kind of where it's at. So, but uh, in this script, and all of them have a really unique uh, user interface, which I think, uh, yeah, which uh, some person on the internet has made. There's maybe about uh, 300 scripts or something like this is what I have installed. So what we have here is like kind of little leaves falling as the as the kind of year is progressing and you can kind of just appreciate the little leaves. And as they hit the bottom of the screen, they make some sound and, and so on. So this is one implementation or, or like this is one thing that Norns, uh, somebody has made for Norns. Uh, I'll show a, something which is about uh, how some of these scripts, not all of them, but some of them really appreciate the fact that this is a computer, not a synthesizer, or doesn't try to be a synthesizer only. So I'll go to the menus. Here's my volume menu. I'll go to the mods. And I will... So this thing is connected to a hotspot that I'm running on my phone, which is here in the corner. And I'll just stream audio straight from this thing on the internet. You can go to this address with your browser and you can listen to it. I will probably turn it off later on because I make really embarrassing music. But for the time being, it's on the internet. And this would not be possible on if you were thinking in the mind of what is a synthesizer or what is a drum machine. This is like, no, this is a computer, right? So this is kind of where I, yeah, this is just a, such a kind of uh, a little like a gesture to think beyond uh, uh, kind of uh, emulating stuff and thinking about what could a sound computer be like. That's a little bit where I kind of just want to end. Uh, I, there's like so many of these uh, scripts. Some of them, like I said, are a little bit like, let's say, norm core, and others are very just crazy. I think there was an event here not long time ago, or was it elsewhere? Uh, celebrating the life work of Peter Hotterdijk. Was that here or...? It, this was a synthesizer uh, designer who passed not long time ago from Netherlands, I think. I think it was here. There was a, an event here in Köln celebrating his legacy. And then many of his very, very strange, chaotic synthesizers are all also implemented in uh, as similar uh, as uh, emulations on Norns. Uh, point there being that uh, the software runs in Super Collider, and then there's a Lua stack. I come from a more like a Python guy, but this uh, Lua I heard is very cool. Uh, so the Lua is what interfaces with the buttons, does the kind of system management, and this kind of like sit, sits as a kind of middleware layer on top of Super Collider. Uh, and then you can uh, um, kind of build, for instance, the user interfaces running Lua. And then maybe here is where I, I end. This. So here is a little website that the um, that runs on Norns. So it's running on on so this Norns.local. It's running. I'm connecting from my computer to my hotspot, and then to this thing. So that's very nice to take it to the park. So here, for example, we see one of these uh, scripts. Uh, it's called Fall, and that's the one that's running here. So let's just see the Lua side of thing first. So you'll see... Uh, yeah, here's the script that runs when I select this script. And there's like a, a event handlers for pressing the buttons or event handlers for like turning the knobs. You can change the sound in this one and so on. Uh, and then the super color side, which I never got into, is here. So this is what is making all the sound that we're now here. All of it is running on the, on the nords. Uh, and then I kind of still hold on uh, to my uh, fantasy of live coding, uh, 
you can type stuff here, let me just say. So this is the Hello World program in Super Collider. And so, so I have a, like a live REPL to the Super Collider engine. Uh, and also on the other side, so that's like one side of the equation. And then the other side of the equation is the Lua side, where I can also do Uh, hello world. So, yes, live coding, programming, nice community making very poetic instruments, like the one that we hear in the background, uh, internet, and running stuff on batteries so you take it to the park and not sit at the stupid desk inside. Uh, if you want to talk about it or if there's some other uh, Norns users or Super Collider users here uh, hit me up I'll be happy to show things around and um, questions yeah. <laughs>